I want to talk to you about something I find really interesting ever since I got into memory training and using these memory techniques. So some people have something called synesthesia, and that's when all your senses are kind of tied in together. So some people, you know, they see a word, but they get a taste or they see a color or image or something like that. And so these people naturally have this gift. It's nothing that they really trained for. Um, so on the screen right now, you see a whole bunch of artwork. So this person is Daniel Tammet. Now he's an autistic savant, so he has autism. So some people that have autism are really good in one specific subject. You know, if it's math, science, writing. Um, there was this one person who was autistic, but he could play the piano amazingly. He could hear a song being played on the piano and then repeat it perfectly. And so some autistic people have this, you know, um, I guess gift you could call it, um, become a savant. And so Daniel Tammet. He also has synesthesia. So what happens is for him, so on the screen you can see 1, 5, 11. So when Daniel Tammet sees one, this is what he pictures. He pictures this. Or this is what he sees. Or he pictures 5. Or he sees 5. Or hears 5. He sees this. And so it's really interesting because what we do, you know, people that do these memory competitions, but if you've been following my videos, what you should be doing is you're changing information into a picture of some sort. So we're kind of having this artificial synesthesia because when I hear 11, I think of Darth Vader, 93, Big Bird. So I see images for these numbers, but my other senses aren't naturally uh, entangled with these numbers I see. But people that have synesthesia, and I met some, when they see a word or something, they get this color or feeling. So Daniel Tammet, this is what, what he sees when he sees these numbers. And so this is probably one of the coolest ones. So um, this is when he's actually doing some multiplication. So it's 53 times 131. So I saw a video one time about him explaining it. So for 53, he sees this. 131, he sees this. But what happens is there's a gap between, between it because it's multiplication. So the product, the answer to it, is in the gap between it and this is I guess what he sees but then he converts that into the actual answer and so that's what's really cool about using these memory techniques because we're trying to get to this point so I don't know if you no know, there's studies or like scientists know exactly how autistic people think or how they're able to learn all this information about that one subject and are an expert in it but memory techniques is getting regular people one step closer to this you know people who don't have autism or have synesthesia memory techniques allow people to kind of replicate this in their own way so when i do see 11 you no know, i don't see this um bright circle of light i see darth vader that's what i see but for me i had to work at it to make that connection i believe that daniel tammet when he just sees 11 instantly you know just when he this is what he saw initially, this image. He didn't have to think about it or anything. It just naturally came up. And so that's what's cool about these memory techniques because it's a, it allows us to kind of get to these savants levels by, you know, for us just working at it day in and day in and day in, trying to perfect our skill of memory improvement. And so it's just kind of cool when I think about it, like, wow, these people are so, so amazing. You know, they have this uh, amazing gift. But I always was fascinated by people who have synesthesia, by some of these autistic people that see these images when they're learning their craft. And so I'm like, memory techniques kind of allow us to kind of work to that level, you know. Memory techniques, techniques will probably never get us to that level because just how the brain is wired allows them to really excel there. But it's kind of cool that we're able to have this artificial you know, synesthesia, this artificial working that's kind of similar to people who have um, autism and that excel in these specific fields. And so I just wanted to share this with you because I found it really interesting. And, and it's a cool idea that, you know, we can kind of replicate what these people that have synesthesia have, what these autistic people, you know, how they kind of think and picture things when they're, um, you know, looking at their equations or at the piece of music, what they're thinking about and what they're seeing. And so uh, hopefully you found this as interesting as I did because I always 
I always wanted to, you know, have these people's abilities. Like, man, I wish I could do science like this person or play like piano like this or, you know, be able to learn information at this amazing rate. And so I did find something that allows me to learn a lot faster, but will it ever be at that level? I don't know. But that's what excites me. Like, maybe one day I can train my brain enough so when I see something, I instantly do it without even thinking about it. That all my images from my number system are imprinted in my memory that I don't even have to think about it. And so I just want to share this with you. Let me know what you think about this. And hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.